Hello guys, this is William Agnew. Welcome back to another episode of Cellular Repair School TV. This is Q&A Tuesday, and today's question comes from a guy by the name of Tom. And Tom writes, I'm making money and my repair business is running itself financially, but I need to know how I can increase my net profits. What do you suggest I do to increase my repair business net profits? Well, Tom, that is an excellent question. And we get this question quite often also. And Tom, the way I would answer this question is what you want to do is always, the first way you can always increase net profits is to drive the cost of operations down. All right. So always be in what I refer to as cut cost mode, a cut cost mode mentality. Always be looking at how you can do things less expensively. Now, with that said, anytime you're cutting costs, there are two things you want to be aware of to not do. And that's to sacrifice quality or sacrifice time. All right. Because this is a time business. TPT, which is re uh, referred to as throughput time, is very important because your customer, as you guys are going to see, already know they wanted their repair done yesterday. OK, they it, it, you can never do it fast enough. So throughput time is very important. So you don't want to sacrifice TPT. You also don't want to sacrifice quality but you should always be in cut cost mode. How can you do things more efficiently? How can you do things more uh, with less cost? I used to work at Intel Corporation and we had process, what we refer to as process engineers. And these process engineers made a lot of money and they made that money because their only responsibility, their main responsibility was how to better our process and how to make that process more efficient where it would cost less and take less time to produce the same quality uh, product, all right? And that's exactly the mindset you should have. Always reviewing your processes, always reviewing how you do business, and always asking the question, what can we do to make this process more efficient? So my advice, Tom, is always be in what I refer to as cut cost mode. What happens to a lot of business people is they get so used to working in the business as opposed to working on the business. And working on the business is taking time to look at what you're doing in terms of operation and seeing if there's any place that we can actually cut costs and be more efficient and save money on our costs and make money on our net profits. So this is that business where things change so dramatically, so drastically, so often you have to be in tune and engage with what you're spending and how much you're spending and understanding if there's any way at any time we can cut the cost of what we're spending in order to up our net profits. This is that business and you have to keep your ear to the street to understand if that is the case and if you, if you can actually do that because things are changing so fast. So Tom, I hope that helps. I hope that little bit of advice helps. Remember, cost cut mode, it's a mindset. Always be in cut cost mode without sacrificing time or quality. And if you can do that, you'll be upping those net profits in no time, okay? If you guys have any more questions, you can submit them at support at CellularRepairSchool.com. You can also ask us questions on our Facebook at CellularRepairSchool.com. And if you felt that this uh, video could help anybody else or be informative to anyone else, please share it on Twitter or uh, Facebook or any other social network site. And this has been another episode of Cellular Repair School TV, and we'll see you guys in the next Q&A session.